I'm Robert Mayer. I'm the Director of Communications and Recruitment at the University of Greenwich. Um, I look after all our marketing, so I am the brand police. Um, all our recruitment for students, that's student recruitment. I also look after our PR, external relations, internal comms, and our alumni and development team, so quite a wide portfolio. Um, these are the sort of things I'm going to talk to you about. Um, a little bit of context, I'll talk about who the University of Greenwich is, uh, look at what our brand objectives were. Um, we relaunched our brand at the beginning of this year after going through about a year's consultation with our staff and Brandworks was really part of that strategy to relaunch the brand. Um, I'll talk a little bit about how we developed the product with Brandworks and I'll focus down on one specific thing which is about how we transition content from one platform to another and uh, tell you where we are now um, and obviously take any questions at the end. My technical expert, Andrew, Sadly, can't be here today, so I'm told if you have any technical questions, Vanessa from Brandworks is going to answer them. <laughs> so, this is my office. Hope you like it. Not too shabby. Um, this is our main campus in Greenwich. Um, and fantastic buildings, but hopeless working environment. We're all in tiny little offices all over the place, scattered. And, and so actually getting consistency around our brand is quite a challenge. Uh, we're a London-based university. We're on three campuses. Uh, Greenwich, Elton, which is about three miles up the road, and uh, Medway, Chatham, which is down in Kent. Um, overall, we've got about 2,000 staff across those three campuses and about 20,000 on-campus students. But one of our challenges is we actually have nearly as many students studying off-campus with our international partners around the world. We've got about 40 international partners that deliver our degree programmes in their institutions. Diverse range of stakeholders beyond our students and our staff. Um, local community and schools. We're a regional university and then an international university, so most of our students come from the southeast or from the rest of the world, but we don't recruit many from the rest of the UK. Um, obviously, we work very closely with a lot of employers who work with us on our degree programmes. Um, we also work with research funders who fund a lot of the research that we do and government agencies that essentially regulate us to death and at the moment are having an extra crack at it to make life interesting for higher education. Very competitive environment now. Uh, I've been in education, in higher education, over 20 years. This is probably the most disruptive time in, the, in my living memory in terms of what's happening in higher education. So actually be, having an effective brand is really important to us now because we're in a very, very competitive market, both against other UK universities, but also against other universities around the world. Uh, we have a shrinking market in the UK, fewer 18-year-olds coming into higher education because fewer were born, sadly, <coughs> and that continues for the next five years. Then we had that lovely Brexit decision that's destroying our European market, and then we have all the immigration rules that is killing our international market. So it's very tough for us, so we have to work hard to survive. Our main objectives um, when we set out on our brand rebranding was maintaining the brand consistently across campuses and internationally. So with our international partners to essentially sell our programmes or deliver our programmes from Malaysia to Vietnam to Greece. Hi there. Hi, Do come in. Have a seat. Um, and for us, slightly in unusual business, I guess, in terms of I'm marketing a product for two years before it's bought. So if you think about it, kids studying GCSEs at 16 are starting to think about what university they might go to. They have a look at the content of degree programmes they might be interested in. So that content has to be consistent from then all the way up to when they might join us two years later. It's got a long lead in time, so maintaining that content consistency is really important to us. I also needed to reduce the central design resources. I, I now have, the entire business has two designers, two mainline copywriters and three junior copywriters. That is my entire design team, if you like. So we're pretty lean. So um, I needed something that would deploy our assets effectively across the business for other people to use. 
um, in a controlled way, so they kept on brand, but they could produce those things locally. And we produce mainly things like degree program leaflets, okay, so something that tells you about a law program or a business program or an engineering program. Uh, but we also have lots of events, we're very event orientated type of organisation, so we have research seminars, we have, I was at a launch of a, a portraits exhibition last night, so we produce lots of leaflets and flyers as well, so there's the sort of production, print production we do. I need to reduce the print production time because our guys became a bottleneck to get things through, so I need to distribute out the production and print processes so we got those times down. And back to this content, I needed people to be using a single source of marketing information because of our long lead times. So essentially we now use Brandworks as a distributed platform for print media, so we've trained everybody, they're starting to use it, we're at fairly early stages of that, but the, a range of people around the faculties and in the business have access to the platform and can produce their own work locally. Um, we've streamlined approval processes, so in fact, although I'm police, I'm quite a nice police, so I do allow people within the template to produce and sign off simple artwork and simple print production locally. Um, we have a single source of written and photographic media, so this is the key thing, I suppose, for us. What we've done is integrated our content systems so that they feed directly into brand works. So we have a quality assurance system. So if you've got, let's, let me give you an example, if you want a new law degree, we have, we, are, we have fairly strict quality assurance processes to get that law degree approved. So it has to have certain things in it, it has to be assessed in a certain way. All those documents are produced and then they're put on our system. Content in there will tell you what a course within a degree programme looks like. Okay, so it might be, I don't know, international law, that's one course. Specific things from that course we want to put on the website, you know, how it's assessed, what the key elements are of it, so that the potential customer can read those. So we take that information from that system called Banner, and that is automatically populating our website with that information. So that's the first step. That gets squirted across, fills our web pages for that particular program in our prospectus pages of the website. What we've now done, the work we've done with Brandworks, is then to take that content off the website and squirt it into what would be a local leaflet about that degree program in law. Okay, what we've also done is essentially created Brandworks as our photographic library for the university. So essentially your written copy and your photo photographic copy all sits within Brandworks for the whole university. So people within the university will put photography onto the Brandworks system so it becomes our shared library of photographic work. I'm afraid I can't show you the actual system, it's just launched, but Vanessa might be able to later for somebody that's interested. This is just a screenshot from one of our pages to give you a sense of the templates. We've created a load of templates that allow people to flexibly edit them uh, when they get them. So this is a programme leaflet, this will be about a, a, that law course for instance. Um, we've created it, this is created as a, I've got to count them up, a 12 page leaflet. Okay, mainly because we might have more content for some courses than others. We do master's programs, which is only one year, which obviously would contain less content than a three-year program. So essentially you can see that for this particular example, it's squirted in the content already that's on the website that sits there and put it into there. So now somebody can take this and shape it to meet their needs. They can delete pages if it's too long, as in this case, but they can adjust the content and the layout. Uh, they can choose, for, choose photography from the library to actually create that asset, uh, and then off it goes to print. So that's essentially how it works. We have a range of different templates in there. We have templates for different types of program, but then we have simpler ones, flyers, and that sort of thing for particular uses that we've defined. So we've built uh, quite a range of templates now with Brandworks, and they're now out there getting launched. I just thought you'd love to see a picture of our lovely students, because <laughs> aren't they fabulous? So this is one of the photographs that sits within the library. And I mean, you all know this, I mean, it's a content-driven world, so I mean, we're, we're photographing everything that moves. If anybody can tell me how I can take Instagram photos off my students and put them on brand works, I'd like to talk to you. Because uh, they take some great photographs through Instagram all the time. Um, but this integration mantra is, is, is what we all have now. Um, where we are now, so all the templates have been signed off um, and developed. 
um, all the download work, and that was quite complicated, I know, and we had a few teething problems, but that's always been sorted out. I am reliably informed and signed off. All our users are trained, and we're actually now starting to use it. So we will, uh, in my internal comms team, we will officially launch this next week. Um, but it's already, we've already had a soft launch, so it's already in use. That's me. Thank you very much. Happy to take any questions. Any questions for, uh, uh, for, for Robert um, on the, what we've, we've just seen there? I always yeah. think it's worth asking what, what didn't work so well. What, what's not working? What's the most challenging? Um, I, I mean, I think we still got some challenges, which is actually um, getting it widely used within the organisation. So we've done that initial training, but I need to <laughs> make sure that people become more familiar with it. It's one of those challenges where people are used to doing something in a certain way and now have to do it in a, a, a different way. Um, I have the advantage, I think, where it's seen as, as beneficial to the local user because it's quicker. They're in control of the, uh, their own destiny, particularly on smaller assets, so that helps. But yeah, it's still got to be implemented through the business, and we've only just started on that journey. And it'll take me six months for it to become integrated and, and part of how we do things. Um, there were some technical issues, I know, in, in getting the information across from our website through to this. Um, and, you know, inevitably those interfaces are always the tricky areas to, to navigate and different, if you like, web platforms will have different challenges. Uh, we use Squiz, so that was the, that was the uh, product that we were trying to integrate with. Um, it's, not, uh, it's not one of the most widely used platforms, I don't think. And it's, it's, it's an American mainly platform, I believe. So, so that, was the other, that was one of the other challenges. And actually getting my team to go faster to get the templates made. <laughs> um, but um, we're balancing that resource with a lot of other pressures in the business in terms of their priorities. So some of that was slower than I would have hoped, but that was really a resourcing issue. So I'm around for the rest of the afternoon, so if anybody has any other questions.